I'd like to show you a brand new developer preview of KSQL. Officially, KSQL is an open source streaming SQL engine that implements continuous interactive queries against data in Apache Kafka. But rather than just tell you that, let me show you what it can do. KSQL is a part of the Confluent open source platform, so I've started that up from the command line. We're going to be working primarily from the console. To make the demo work, we'll need some test data. This script is generating some fake clickstream data, simulating traffic on confluent.io and writing it to a topic. If you look at it, it's not super easy to understand in its raw form. So let's take our first step in KSQL, creating a stream using a declarative language. Normally you do this in Java in the streams API, but here we're just describing what we want with a SQL-like syntax. Notice how our stream maps onto a topic, that's clickstream underscore one, and has a particular schema that we've described. We can go back and list what streams we've created. And if you forget what's in a stream, well, that's fine. You can describe it. You can see its fields and see what their types are. Take a look at user ID here. If we were to view the data in the stream, which we can do with a select, user ID isn't super easy to interpret. Uh, we might want to fix that in a minute. And notice that the select just keeps running until we stop it. Remember, this is unbounded streaming data, so select is never done. As long as messages keep arriving in the source topics, the resulting streams always have new content. And remember that user ID field? Well, this script I'm running now is going to build some new simulated users for us. If you look at the data here, you can see we've got usernames and proper names and locations, and there's that user ID. Our test tool is just dumping this into a topic, which of course we'll want to process in KSQL. Specifically, we'll want to create a table out of it. If taking a stream and making a table seems weird, just think of the messages in the stream as if they're updates to rows in the table, uh, like it's a stream of changelog entries. Which lets us bring this to the next level of coolness, which is joining two streams declaratively. To enrich that clickstream data that we started with, we'll join it with the users table we've just created. If you examine the syntax of the join statement here, you can see that it looks awfully familiar. KSQL is not hard to learn. Now let's select from the joined stream. Ah, this is better. We have usernames now instead of those bare IDs. And notice again how the results just keep coming until we stop the query. There is no table whose results we can list fully and then be done with it. We've created a new stream, which is a join of our raw stream and the users table. And the data in that stream will keep coming as long as new events enter the source topics. Also, any Kafka consumer can access that stream as a topic if they'd like. Now let's do some analysis of this data. Uh, here I'm making a table of malicious users from the enriched clickstream data. We'll define a malicious user as any individual IP address that requests more than, say, 50 kilobytes of web resources. Note that we'll be displaying the data in kilobytes just because they're easier to look at than bytes. We can select from that table to see who the malicious users are, but this is still a little hard to take in at a glance. How about we visualize it? All right, so this script I'm running here will configure Kafka Connect to dump our enriched clickstream data into Grafana. And there it is. Each dot is a session belonging to a particular user. The X axis is time, you can see that's moving forward, and the Y axis is traffic in kilobytes. The legend down below maps the colors onto particular usernames and IP addresses. Notice how they're all increasing in traffic, those terrible malicious users that they are. Now I'd like to show some more sophisticated analysis, but just to save time, I'm going to run the KSQL queries to get that work done from a script. This script is generating more streams that are analyzing our raw clickstream data in new ways. And since I've created new streams, I have to tell Kafka Connect about them as well, so it can get that data moving into Grafana in real time. And back to Grafana, we suddenly see a much richer dashboard. At upper right, we see a list of the abusive users, including the joined IP address and username. At upper left, we have a display of time-binned HTTP error codes occurring on the site. That's pretty cool. And now down below, we've got a sessionized view of user traffic and a min-max average analysis of resource requests across all users and another roll-up of HTTP errors down at the bottom built from joined clickstream data. It's a pretty rich dashboard, and it was created in its entirety from KSQL queries and Kafka Connect. So, take a look at the developer preview. Before long, you're not going to be able to do without this tool for processing streaming data in Kafka.